I don't know where Gladys is. If she wants her free drinks tonight, she better get a move on. <sighs> hey, fingers. So glad you could make it. That dame ain't here yet. Head them up to the keyboard and play something nice. Is she done show? I'll give you her pay too. These TV folks on the local station are not gonna wait forever. They're gonna start rolling the second you get on stage. We're already behind, so get to it. Welcome to Public Access Channel 64. Thank you for joining us tonight for a Christmas Eve special. We will be taking a live feed from Sparky's Tavern out on Route 3. It's just south of the Trenton Bridge near the Lobster Pond in Bar Harbor. If you see the bait shop, you've gone too far. Sparky's is having a special tonight. If you happen to get out that way, you can have a chowder and a Pabst for 25 cents. That's a great deal if you can get it. Also, please stop back on New Year's Eve to ring in 1976 with Margie Santucci's and fill him up singing the songs of Captain Antoniel. Are you the chick who's singing tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. So <laughs> not put your ass up on the stage now. The broadcast has already started. My name is not Chick. I don't give a it's, rat's ass what your name is. Get up I'm there. terribly sorry to be late. I had to hitchhike all the way from New York City. I was going to take the train, but I didn't have enough money, so I had to hitchhike, which is terribly dangerous. I mean, you've heard all those stories. But I was picked up by a lovely man in a big, shiny, Peterbilt truck. But when we got on that little highway, there were these two moose fighting each other. It was the most violent thing you've ever seen. One moose was in back of the other and he was jumping on him, jumping on him. And oh man, it took forever. That wasn't fighting. The mooses were playing hide the sausage. Huh? Getting over the hump, get caffeinated. Oh Jesus, come on lady. Making whoopee. Oh, oh no. No wonder that moose in front looks so alarmed. I bet she didn't even get dinner first. They seldom do. Do you want to get your ass on the stage? Drink uh, to start me off. Just a little something to warm me up. Just, just a little nip or something. Mm -mm, no singing, no boozing. I got orders and I got your number too. <sighs> but I have to make myself presentable first should have been on time. Either Finger finishes a set and you split the money or you get some of it. Your choice. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. For we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Candles in the window, carols at the spinning. Yes, we need little Christmas right this very flurry but Saturday we're in a hurry all out the holly put up the tree before my spirits fall again fill up the stocking I may be rushing things but deck the halls again At the spinning, yes, we need a little Christmas right this very minute. We need a little Christmas now. Welcome, everybody, to the show here at here at um, Sparky's Tavern in Bar Harbor, Massachusetts. 
Massachusetts. Maine. You're in Maine, you ditzy broad. You don't even know where you are. Hopefully I'll be under you later, huh? <laughs> Why don't you be a good bartender and go get mommy a drink? And just a little something to get me warmed up. Just a little sherry. Got it, sherry. What kind of place do you think this is? Well, in that case, make it a scotch and soda. But hold the ice. It's cold out there, huh? It's colder than a witch's tit in a copper bra. And hold the soda, too. And make it a trip. Goddamn lush. Do you like my dress? Yeah. It was a gift from a designer I met at the Rainbow Room. Well, actually, outside the Rainbow Room. Oh, around the corner from the Rainbow Room. Anyway, I was standing in line, and this designer was going in and stopped to tell me how much he liked my dress that I was wearing. You know, I just I just had this little number that my mom had. Well, not my real mom, obviously. I mean, she doesn't sew. She has people for the hat. Uh, but he said, uh, he said I could come over to his apartment and see some of his. And you know what? I did. After a few hours of trimming his tree, he fell asleep. And I was all co- Never mind. I uh, just couldn't sleep. The dress was just sitting there at the bottom of the Christmas tree. So I swiped it. Mm. I just like to think of it as an early Christmas present to myself. Now, I know that all of you know me, but for my fans out there in TV land, you know, I don't like to talk about myself much. So, my name is Gladys Garland. No relation that I can prove, anyway. Damn lawyers. I am the daughter of Judy Garland and Louis B. Mayer. Uh-huh. Mom was on the set of The Wizard of Oz, and she and Louis B. had an affair. Uh-huh. Well, it would have been a scandal of the day. An old man and a 17-year-old girl. That is why all those nasty columnists wrote about mom being overweight at the filming. It was all covering up the pregnancy, dear ones. <laughs> so Louis B. didn't want to marry her and ruin his little money-making little girl. So I was adopted out. It was done in those days, quietly. I am why mom had to wear all those huge petticoats on the set. So I have an unnamed, but starring role in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> anyway, I reached out and tried to get recognized as the real daughter but I couldn't afford the lawyers. And well, here I am singing for you here tonight. <laughs> we'll be family tonight, all of us. Well, well, not you. Oh, you're hot, hot, hot. I don't want to think about you as my brother. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let go. Let's look at the show. We're riding in a wonderland of snow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand. Just holding your hand. We're riding along with the song of a wintry wonderland. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cozy, are we? 
we're snuggled up together like two birds of a feather would be. Let's take the road before us and sing a chorus or two. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, yeah. When I first came to New York from Camden, New Jersey, I didn't have a nickel, but I had talent and a blue dress. Woo! I showed up at the door of every cabaret in town. I would stand there for hours, just waiting for those booking agents to give me a shot. I went to every casting director in town too. I tell you, I was on a lot of couches. In the waiting room. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> no, I didn't try. I mean, I was young and beautiful. So much prettier than my sisters, Liza and Lorna. I mean, Liza with that schnoz and <laughs> Lorna. Oh, poor Lorna. She got all of dad's face and none of mom's talent. Oh, I met Liza once, yeah. As she was eating dinner at Sardi's, it was after her big show she had on TV in 1970. Yeah, you remember all, she did all those great songs. <laughs> well, I walked right up to the table and introduced myself. She was with a whole bunch of industry types. I mean, very, very glamorous, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a few words out, but then I saw this huge steak on her plate and, oh man. Was I hungry? I hadn't eaten in four days. I just couldn't help myself. I grabbed that steak and I just ate it up every bite of it. Well, you would have thought that I had taken a dump right there in the middle of the restaurant. Uh huh. I tried to explain that I was a sister, but they couldn't hear me on a point of everybody yelling. So much. Well, they put me out on my rear, back behind the dumpsters, like I was trash. Hey, Bobo, let's get another round over here. I need to loosen up my pipe. Loosen up as it is, honey. What's the matter? Don't you like girls? Oh, his old lady sure did. Now fingers don't talk so much. Well, he hasn't said anything since he caught his old lady cheating on him with his own sister. Fingers? Well, well they call you fingers because you play the piano so well. The only place he is good with his fingers is on the keyboard. Otherwise, his old lady wouldn't have gone shopping around. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. I'm sure you'll find love soon. I mean, Mom married a gay boy once or twice. Yeah. Huh. Oh, let's try another song. Uh, surprise us. That is lovely. <laughs> so lovely. I remember the first time I heard that song, walking down the street, bundled up against the cold. It reminds me of this one time. I had a wonderful idea for a musical theater Broadway show. Uh-huh. Uh, it was a play about cats who could sing and dance. They would meet under the light of the full moon to decide which cat gets to be reborn. <laughs> I know it was a terrible idea, okay? The guy I was talking to about it, I, I don't know, Andrew something, he was from London. Well, he thought it was the nuttiest idea. Uh -huh. He borrowed a book of poetry from me. Well, that's where I got the idea. Mm -hmm. You see, the book was about cats, so I thought it would be a good idea to call the show Cats. Yeah, that'll never amount to anything. Oh, 
I know. Let's sing together. Everybody join in if you know the song. history. <laughs> now, I know not everybody is celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ tonight. So I want to reach out to the Jewish members of our community. Do we have any members of the tribe here with us tonight? Well, <clears throat> well, 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 I never would have known you were Jewish, but I haven't seen you with your pants off yet. almost forgot we have a sponsor oh, let me see here um okay uh this is for you mr and mrs shapiro of the rothschild jewelers you can't say jewelry without saying jew so this is for you three yep. i have a little dreidel i made it out of clay and when it's dry and ready then dreidel i shall play Our time is growing short here tonight. Christmas Eve is such a special, magical time when we gather together with our family. One day, one day, I know I'll be with my whole family again. The restraining order should expire soon. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I wanted to share with you a story about uh, last Christmas Eve. So I was living in the East Village in a cold water flat, four story walk up. You had to boil water to take a bath. It was a terrible, oh, it was a terrible place. So I was living there with five raw cats who were between sugar daddies at the time. It was great, really. Really, yeah, because they had shows and rehearsals, so the place was largely empty. I worked nights at the time, and, well, they never figured out I was living there, so. <laughs> I, uh, I was working as Booker. Tainer. I was going out on a lot of auditions. Oh, and I had this great accompanist, this guy named Barry. Oh, nice Jewish boy, uh, but a bit of a Eagle. Huh? Yeah. Well, you could get him to come with you to play music for you, you know. He was okay, not great. Not as great as fingers here, but okay. Anyway, he had just come from singing in a bathhouse. I knew I had to save him. Mm -hmm. He had partnered up with this crazy redhead. Yeah, even if she really was a redhead. Not that Barry would know for sure, I mean. He prefers meat to fish, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I told Barry that he came with me and dumped bread. Well, well, we would really go places. But he didn't listen and he hasn't done anything since. I bet he's still singing in that sauna for tips. The moral of the story is take every opportunity that life gives you because you never know where it's going to lead you. He could have been here with me instead of fingers. Yeah. Give me a little tickle, fingers. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I think we need to do another song. Oh, and Bob, it's time for Mama to get another drink. <clears throat> After this, you cut off. It's medicinal. I got to keep hydrated. My doctor told me I have to have three of these every 20 minutes to stay hydrated. Uh-huh. It's the lights. Um, we are trying to raise money to fix the bridge. Uh, so if you could call 555-69-69. To make a pledge over the phone, um, the number will be on your screen. Wait, what, 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 what screen? I, I don't know how to, oh, oh, okay, all right. Uh, I was supposed to point to the number on the screen. I, okay, how do I know where the number is? All right, fine. Um, so if you could give a dollar or two, it says that we need to raise $500. Wow, that's a lot of cabbage. I could buy two Bob Mackie dresses with that kind of cash <gasps> and a Halston. Oh, wow, then I could really make some money. Mm -hmm. The only way you'd make money is if you hawked those dresses. Let's get some cheer in here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the hap happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the hap happiest season of all. There'll be parties for hosting marshmallows for toasting and caroling out in the snow there'll be wonderful stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long long ago it's the most wonderful time of the year there'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Doesn't that make
make your heart sing with joy. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Wow, it's really coming down out there. We're supposed to get nine inches tonight. The last time I had that much, I slept with two guys at the same time. <laughs> well, it was more like five, four, 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 five, four, four, oh, and then nine. Oh. Mm, good times. Good times. Oh. <sighs> anyway. Oh, Bob Bunny, where's mommy's drinky poo? What, is your elbow broken? Don't be so light on the floor this time, huh? Woo! -hoo. I want to share a little bit about my dream with you. Oh, boy. I am here tonight because I am saving up to buy a Winnebago so I can tour all over the country Ooh. and end up in Hollywood. Keep drinking, honey, it'll never happen. Gladys, this is your last stop. You all think. Whoa. Well, maybe Ooh. it'll take another song to convince you. Finally, thank you. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, oh, that is good. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Silent night, fingers, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Though I doubt any night with you would be silent. It sure was with his ex-wife. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. I bet he's a snorer. Especially with a schnoz like that. <laughs> fingers, just give me a little something to warm up, huh? Oh, I bet you heard that before. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round the young virgin
show me how much you love me. Uh-huh. How about we do another number to open up those wallets? Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol. La 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 la. See the blazing before us, la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure, la 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 la. While I tell of Yuletide treasure, la 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 la. Wow. My, it's really coming down out there. I'm gonna need a place to stay tonight. <laughs> Any takers? Does anybody want me in their bed tonight? The bed bugs want you, darling. Sounds like it's gonna be a silent night. Well, 78 cents, not even a dollar. Where are you all going? Don't you want to hear me sing anymore? I was about to do my big finish. Bob? Where are you going? Uh, my shift's over. Why does everybody leave me? Take you anywhere you want to go. I thought you don't speak. Oh, I have to get back to the city. Do you have a car you could take me in? I mean... It's really coming down out there. Maybe we could stay here. I really can't stay. The baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. The baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been I'm hoping that you drop so in. Very nice. I'll hold your hands. They're just like My ice. My mind will start to worry. Beautiful, what's My your mind hurry? Will be pacing the floor. Listen to that fireplace so really roar. really, I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't Or maybe worry. just a half a drink more. Put some records on while I pour. Neighbors might think. But baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this dream? No caps to be had out there. I wish I knew how. Eyes are like a star right now. Despair. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks I swell. ought to say no, 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 Mind sir. Mind if I move in closer. At least closer. I'm gonna say that I tried. What's the sense of hurting my bride? Really can't well, baby, stay. don't hold out. Oh, baby, but it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. Cold outside. The welcome has How been lucky that you dropped so in. nice and warm. Look out the window at the store. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Waves of love and drop in the store. My maiden aunt's mind is vicious. Gosh, your lips are delicious. Or maybe just a cigarette bowl. Never such a person I've got to go A buddy of mine offered me a gig on as a piano player on his new show. Something about auditioning on Broadway or some such nonsense. That sounds like a horrible show. It's, it's called a chorus line or something. Well, do you think there's a part in it for me? <laughs> I hope I get it. How many people does he need? Let's find out. You're going to shine on Broadway, baby. Jeez, fingers. I hope the lights never go out on Broadway. I don't know. Just 
chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some Eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on a sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy. See if reindeer really know how to fly. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny. You would even